so we've created a set shot of the goose flying across the stage. I want to do the same type of shot, but as a tracked shot where the camera's flying alongside the goose. This is actually a little bit easier animation for the most part, at least as far as animating the goose is concerned. And I'm going to go into my library and I'm going to select these symbols that we've created as far as the four positions of the goose and the cloud. And I'm going to copy those. And I'm going to create a new project. And again, I'm going to do a blue back color and 550 by 400 pixels. I'm going to set this at 12 frames per second rather than 24. And so I have a blank stage. There's nothing in my library. What I'm going to do is come to the stage and paste all those symbols on the stage that I'll put in the library. I'm going to delete them. And uh, now I'm going to take my first goose, goose one, and position it where I want it in this shot. Now we're going to keep the goose in the same same spot throughout all the frames, but I need him to flap his wings. So I'm going to go and insert a keyframe on frame two. And then in the properties, I'm going to select the goose and I'm going to swap him for goose two. Do the same thing next frame, frame three, insert a keyframe, select the goose. Now we're going to swap it from two to goose three. Frame four, insert a keyframe, select the goose, swap it from goose three to goose four. Now we need to have the wings go back down. So I'm going to insert a keyframe. And this time I'm going to swap from four to three. And then the last frame of my flight cycle is going back to goose two. So there is my complete flight cycle. I can scrub the playhead and the goose flaps his wings in position. Now this, this, these six frames are going to loop around as we play this. And we'll see that he'll sit there and flap his wings all day long. I want to have a sequence though where I'm going to sell this shot and I'm going to have some other objects going past him as he is moving. And I need to decide how long this shot should be. So let's say this is a this is a shot as part of a much larger production. And we just want to get the imagery that the goose is flying from one spot to another spot, maybe in our in our animated feature. Uh, maybe I want this to be, let's say, uh, seven seconds long. And uh, so at 12 frames per second, I need 72 frames. So what I'm going to do is simply select frame one, hold down the shift key and select frame six. So I've, I've selected all six of those frames. I'm going to copy those frames. And then on the next frame, which is frame seven, I'm going to paste those frames. That now gives me two complete cycles and I'm up to frame 12. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to select all 12 frames this time. Copy frames. I'm going to go to frame 13. Paste the frames. Now I've got 24 frames. I'm going to select all those. Copy. Paste frames. And I'll paste frames one more time. That should give me 72 frames. So there's my six second uh, sequence at 12 frames per second. And as part of that sequence, I want to have something moving in the background. We've got that cloud. I'm going to add another layer here. And I'm going to take my cloud, position it on this layer. And let's have the cloud, I'm going to have the cloud be a little bit above him. I'm going to name this layer cloud. We'll name layer one goose. And so I don't accidentally move the goose, I'm going to lock that layer. So now I'm going to take the cloud and doing frame-by-frame frame animation, I'm going to insert a keyframe 
and let's move the cloud down. Maybe I'll move it 20 pixels at a time. And I'm going to repeat that process, inserting a keyframe, moving 20 pixels, until I get the cloud off the stage on the left. Now there's actually a much faster way to do this when we start moving, working with uh, classic tweens and motion tweens. But for now, I want you to get the feel of what frame-by-frame -frame animation entails. And I want you to practice that frame-by-frame -frame animation. So we're kind of doing this the hard way, but that's really the best way to learn animation to begin with. Okay, so now I have the cloud all the way off the stage to the left. It took me about 44 frames to get it over there. If we were to test this movie, there would be our sequence. Now I've got the cloud in front of the goose. I'd like to have it behind the goose. So all I'm going to do is take the cloud layer, move it behind the goose. Remember the topmost layers are the foreground. The bottommost are the background. Let's test this again. So now the goose is flying past the cloud with a track shot. Now on the timeline, I've got extra frames at the end of the cloud sequence that where the screen's gonna be blank with just the goose against the blue sky. I wanna bring in a second cloud that would kind of fill that area. So there's a cloud following the first cloud. And what I'm gonna do is add another layer. I'm gonna name this one cloud two. And I've locked my other two layers but I am going to come down to the cloud layer and select all those frames. I'm going to copy those frames. And since there's 44 frames that sequence, I want to basically go to pretty much the end of my 72 frames. So 72 minus 44, I'm gonna start this at about frame 28. Maybe I'll give myself an extra frame, frame 27. So I'm going to right click and choose paste frames. And so now I have a bunch of blank keyframes, a sequence of 26 blank keyframes, and then my second cloud animation is going to start on frame 27. And it's going to go to basically frame 70. Now I've got some extra frames that were inserted here at the end of the sequence. I want to get rid of those. Otherwise, if I wanted this to loop, I would have just a sequence where the goose just suddenly disappeared and we'd see nothing on the, on the stage. So I'm going to even this up by shift clicking and then removing those frames. Now, as it is, if I were to scrub my playhead, we would see the cloud come in and then there'd be a second cloud right behind it. I want to have the second cloud drop down a little bit, so it's a little lower and not directly behind the first cloud. So I'm going to select these frames. I'm going to turn on the edit multiple frames. And let's, uh, let's hide the others. So all I'm seeing are these frames. I'm going to do a control A to select all the frames. And I can edit them all at the same time. All I'm going to do is just shift all these frames down together, oh, maybe about 80 to 100 pixels. That's probably pretty good. And now let's turn the multiple frames off and let's test our movie. So we have one cloud and then the second cloud a little bit lower following in behind it and that is our six frame sequence. I might also want to have some objects down here at the bottom, maybe the, the roof of a house or a flagpole or tops of trees that will also help sell this idea. Now remember the things in the foreground will move left, right to left much faster than things in the background. So if I were to add say a top of a tree, rather than taking 44 frames to go from right to left, maybe I wanted to have, have it take 24 or 30 frames. So it would zoom by much faster as the camera was following this goose. 